Well, hello and oh, welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. Now, this is Nate, and boy, do I got a good one for you today. Now, I can't remember the model number of this one, so I'll have that in text down at the bottom. So, I believe this is a Schultz home. Most of theirs don't have names, they have model numbers, which is why I can't remember what the model number is. But anyway, we got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, really nice home. This one is 2,160 square foot. Yes, she's a big one. It's got the tray ceiling. You've got a super nice kitchen. You've got basement ready home. Yep, I'll show you that when we get inside. You've got a large walk-in pantry. You can make it bigger. If you made your master bedroom smaller or master bedroom closet smaller i should say let's go ahead and head on in and uh, we'll get you some more information on the home once we get inside So now I know I forgot to mention that we are at Majestic Homes here in Billings, Montana. Now with that said, <laughs> now we can get into the rest of the home. This is your entranceway, by the way. We have the drop zone with the shoe rack down below. You got your hangers here, storage up above. We have a coat closet. Yep, Nice to see coat closets right when you walk in the door. There is your front door. So really nice foyer area right when you walk in. And then we're going to turn around and check out the size of the living room. Great big bubbled out windows there. I forget the terminology for it, but as you can see, they kind of come out a little bit. See, I told you there's a busy highway right outside. The, I mean, I'm literally, there's the sidewalk and there's the road. <laughs> Can't get any closer. <laughs> in fact, I had to go out in the middle of the road to get the external or the outside shot of this home. <laughs> Now we've looked at the living room. I told you this was basement ready. Here is the spot for your basement right down here. Of course, you've got an overhead light fixture already set up in there. So all you gotta do is put the stairs in, put your basement in, you're good to go. So this is a modular, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. And then we've got four recessed lights up above our dining room area here. And I know y'all are wondering, okay, I've seen him do a couple spin arounds in the living room and there's a basement ready area, but I haven't seen a door for the master bedroom. No, it's not off the living room. <laughs> That's right. There is your sliding glass door. Yeah, your master bedroom isn't off your living room. I know, it's a shocker, right? <laughs> of course, now you can see where it's at. It's back off your kitchen. Of 
Nice size island. Got easily seating for four. They've got two set up. We have a plug at each end. Let's see if I can get this to come in. Lots of drawers above each and every one of your doors. There we go. Now it moved. <laughs> Camera wasn't trying to move while well, I was trying to get it to move. We got a full stack of drawers here. Frigidaire stainless steel appliances. And this, I know some of you would like to know, the camera doesn't make this look very wide, but trust me, this is a wide walkway between these two areas here. This one is set up to be a dish drawer. There's your hardware and all your smoke detectors. This one is set up to be a pots and pans drawer. I will say, thank you Majestic Homes for not installing the smoke detectors and having them beep. <laughs> As someone who films these homes for a living, it's nice to see that none of their homes have the smoke detectors installed yet. <laughs> so we've got our gas stove. Five burner it looks like even and a really nice backsplash here vent hood let's see which one is the lights nope they do have them turned on kind of a bluish purplish color I don't know if the camera picks that up but it's got kind of a purplish color to it So you can just subtly see it, but there is under cabinet lighting in here. Now what in the heck is this thing you might ask? Well, how about that walk-in pantry I was telling you about? Got automatic light, so you don't even have to worry about shutting it off. Close the doors, it'll take care of itself. And I know I didn't open any of the upper drawers or, or cabinets or anything like that. Now our master bedroom. It's a nice big bedroom. Just a little over half the width of the home. So that makes it even wider than what you normally get. So this one's going to be quote unquote extra large. Now, as I was stating before, you might be able to make your pantry larger if you did away with some of this portion of your closet. But you've got the dual racks over here. You've got this nice little center island here with some drawers in here. And then you've got single racks on each side of your window there. So overall, you've got a really big closet, even an outlet right over there. Oh, I didn't even see these drawers over here. <laughs> okay. So now we've got our master bathroom with this great big tub in here dual sinks hello Raiden a 
I like the fact that these are the square sinks. And we've got a linen cabinet inside the water closet of your bathroom. Of course, there's your toilet back there. Well, that was loud. <laughs> that was kind of a loud door shut. And I was closing it softly. And then our shower. And this is an all glass front. We've got the, I like this color of tile. That's really nice. One thing I really like is it's not your standard little um, squared cutout right there. You've got room to put your shampoos and conditioners and what, what else in there. And then a little bit more storage down below. I've seen that in one other home so far today. I really like that. All right, now we got to go to the other end of the home. What could possibly be at this end of the home? I know we've got a linen cabinet right here. Guest bathroom. Now, if you can look at this, it's not just your standard guest bathroom. It's nice and wide. You can see there's a door handle over there, a door over there. Yeah, we'll do, I'll show you. You've got a large counter right here. No drawers, but you got lots of space down below. So let's swing around and check out. Yep, you got a linen closet in your guest bathroom. I've seen the comments. I know you guys would like to have one in the guest bathroom. There you go. <laughs> of course, we got our toilet. Here is our single piece shower tub combo. And that shower head is really high. So in case you haven't noticed, these are nine foot ceilings, by the way. And that is a huge window. And since we're here, we're just gonna go out this way into the utility room. And I'm gonna close the door behind me. So we've got our drop zone. We've got plenty of space for a freezer. There's even a plug-in right there to make sure you can plug it in. There is our, or our washer and dryer area. And it's a nice wide area so you can get, you know, the extra large ones if you need to. We've got a sink and tons of cabinets in here. We hardly ever open cabinets in the laundry room. There is your back door, your electrical panel, your coat closet, now check out the size of this bedroom. You've got the dual racks in your closet here. And into bedroom number 
three in this case, because we've already done the master bedroom. Once again, you got the dual racks in your closet. And with that, how about some dual comments down below? Yep, you got to leave two comments. That's it. You got to leave two comments, each one of you. If you view this video, you got to go down and leave me two comments. I'm kidding. <laughs> so anyway, I know you all want to leave me a comment, though, and let me know what you think of the home. What kind of changes would you like to see? I know this has been a little bit on the longer side. It's a really large, really nice home. And while you're down there leaving that comment, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And I will be back with some price information shortly. Thanks for watching. Well, hello there. Now we got to get in price information. So this one is called the Legend 402. This is made by Schultz Homes, in, uh, which is a division of Clayton Homes. So, you know, Schultz Homes is kind of the top end of Clayton Homes. So the price on this one is going to be a little bit higher than what your standard Clayton home would be. This one is also a modular. So, of course, that includes setting up uh, with a crane. you got to have foundation, things like that. So this one is a 2160 square foot. This is at Majestic Homes in Billings, Montana. So, you know, there's going to be extra freight charges, things like that, depending on where you have this home set up and delivered. And wow, these lights are, <laughs> it's going in and out, in and out, changing colors here. So uh, let me make an adjustment real quick. Well, hopefully that's a little bit better because man, this thing is like in and out, white, yellow, white, yellow. I don't know what's going on, but anyhow, so uh, back to uh, the pricing information. So I do have the build sheet for this one. So now there's no actual price listed on this build sheet, but with what I've been able to find online based off of you know the starting price and the build sheet, I can see some of the options, like a $5,000 option, a $7,000 option, you know, lots of $100 options, things like that. Starting price on this home without any of the options would be right around $260,000. There's $40,000 in options done with this home at minimum based on what I've kind of added up quickly. So I'm going to say this one as shown is probably coming in right around $300,000. Now granted, some things you don't have to get, some things you may want to upgrade. I don't know what they paid for it. I don't know what the actual price is. I'm just going off the build sheet and the research that I've been able to find. So I hope that gives you a good idea though. And with that, make sure you're hitting the like button, subscribe button, all that kind of stuff over there. Turn on those notifications and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.